What's going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the channel. 2023 has almost come to a close. We're in December. Cannot believe how fast this year has completely flown by, but I gotta give you guys the movies I'm most excited for in the month of December. Let me know what movies you're most excited for down below in the comment section. There's lots of good ones coming out. Lots of like Oscar maybe front runners and a couple action movies on there, a couple of Netflix movies on there. Lots of things I'm excited about. We're gonna do this by placing all these movies on our proper tiers from my most excited to my least excited to some Somewhere in the middle. Let's hop into things. Starting off with our tiers, we have most anticipated. My most anticipated of the month will go in this tier. Then we have very excited. Then we have a Heidi K, man. Like, just not really sure about this movie, whether I'll see it or I won't. We have wait for streaming. Mean I'm planning on watching it just a little bit down the road. And then we have least anticipated. Let's start off with Ferrari, Mamma Mia. I'm going to go very excited for this. I like Michael Mann. I love Adam Driver. Uh, the buzz has not been all that good for this movie just yet, but... Nonetheless, I think this is one that can be an Oscar nominee, maybe not an Oscar frontrunner, but definitely an Oscar nominee, and I love Adam Driver, and I love these kind of racing movies like one we got just a couple years ago, Ford v. Ferrari. I think Ferrari can be a, a inspiring and interesting story to tell Adam Driver as Ferrari. I'm excited for it. I'm just going to keep saying that. Ferrari, mamma mia, Mario, you know, so Ferrari, I'm interested to check it out comes out, I believe, on Christmas. I wonder if it's going to get a wide release in January. Hopefully not. Planning on seeing this movie the end of this month. Then we have a Netflix movie, Maestro. Love Bradley Cooper. I just don't know about this movie. Now, I'm excited, and I want to go very excited, but also idk man now i loved the star was born absolutely loved it and bradley cooper is one of my favorite actors of all time for that matter so it should go in very excited because he's returning as a director and he's reacting in this movie as well they're all saying this is like bradley cooper's movie he might be the one to win the oscar i just don't know because i'm so unfamiliar with the subject matter of this film what is it even really about the trailers have got me intrigued it looks more like one of those oscary type movies but i also feel like bradley cooper might be able to make me love this kind of movie might be able to take a subject matter that i'm unfamiliar with to a t and i think he might be able to get me to enjoy it to a t i'm really holding out hope for it i love carrie mulligan will this be the year bradley cooper wins an oscar he literally said in an interview the other day that He'd rather have the Philadelphia Eagles win a Super Bowl than him and Kerry Mulligan win the Oscar. So, here's the hoping, I guess. But I don't think the Eagles are going to win a Super Bowl. Sorry, Bradley. Moving on to Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. I'm a diehard Zack Snyder fan. I freaking love the guy. The trailers have sold me. Zack Snyder is one of my all-time favorite directors. I love the Snyder Cut. I love 300. I just love what he brings to cinema and to film. I just love it freaking all. And this looks like an epic sci-fi Star Wars-y type adventure that I am freaking here for, dude. I believe we get part two in March of next year. So I love what Netflix does. He's two turnaround quick times. And this one's going to be a huge setup for something greater to come next year. I am so beyond freaking excited for this movie. Expect a bunch of content on this movie and a Zack Snyder ranking as he is one of my all time freaking favorite directors, man. I freaking love him. I love the guy a lot. Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom. Now, I love James Wan. Tur has been kind of through reshoot hell. Nonetheless, very excited for it. I really, really am. Now, this is like the final hurrah <laughs> for the DCEU. It looks basic. It looks like something we've seen before, but nonetheless, we're going to see Jason Momoa back up as freaking Arthur Curry. I love James Wan. I'm a diehard James Wan guy. Another one of my favorite directors, and it doesn't seem like this is going to be like his full movie because of like the reshoots that they had to do and all the little bit of drama surrounding with a certain someone in this movie, but nonetheless. So I'm excited to see what they do with this one. It's the final comic book movie of the entire year, so... I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Night freaking one. Be right there. Excited. You know, swimming. Then we have The Boy and the Heron or The Boy and the Heron. I'm sorry. I don't know how exactly to pronounce this movie, but I'm going to go in the IDK man tier because I have not seen a Studio Ghibli movie ever. Now, I know what you're saying. Spirited Away, one of the best animated movies of all time. I've heard that in so many times. One of my best friends has a Spirited Away tattoo sleeve. So I need to check some of these movies out. But for this one, great voice casting. I heard it's getting dubbed and it releases in theaters this week. It's just one I'm not sure I will make it to the theater. So it's in the IDK man tier. Kind of unfamiliar with this. Let me know about it down below if I should be more excited than I actually am. Then we have the Iron Claw. Man, it's, it's a good month. We might have a couple in the most anticipated tier because like I, I just I got I gotta cheat. I gotta cheat. The Iron Claw. I'm going to be very excited because I love Zac Efron. This story is so tragic. I don't want to spoil it for you if you don't know about it, but I was reading about it, and it is it is brutal. It is tragic. And Jeremy Allen White, one of my favorite working actors today. 
the boys excited for, all right? It's a wrestling movie. These boys are just freaking jacked, and they're all oiled up, and they're ready to wrestle, and about the, the family dynamic in this movie is what I'm going to really, really love, and it's a tragic family story, so... I think it's bringing me tears a little bit, and I think I'm really just going to enjoy this one. It has really good reviews out the gate. It's really moving, it's inspirational, and it's it's a tragic story. Like I said, if you want to know about it before, go read about it. It's kind of insane about this movie. Then we have Anyone But You, Glenn Powell, and you have uh, Sydney Sweeney, a new romantic comedy, or just a romantic movie, something we've maybe seen before. If you know anything about me, I am a diehard romantic movie fan. Very excited to hear. Told you it's a freaking, it's a popping month for movies, and I am. I was so excited to check all these out. Anyone but you. The trailer for it, I wasn't totally in love with it, but I love the little premise we got that these two people really hate each other. They're going to a wedding, and they're going to act like they're dating. Something we've seen before, thousand percent. I'll be the first to admit, that's fine. I love Glenn Powell. Man, hangman forever, bro. And Sydney Sweeney is great. Euphoria, I'm excited to see her in something else besides Euphoria. And I think it's going to be funny. I think it could be sexy. I think it could be raunchy. And I'm just, I'm freaking here for it, dude. I'm here for all these movies. I really am. I'm probably going to watch them all. Just, I wish the trailer had a little bit better music in the background because it felt like it got, took itself a little too seriously. But I think it'll be fun. My wife is really excited for this one. And whenever my wife is excited for a movie, automatically i am that much more excited for that said movie so she's excited for it makes me that much more excited for it wonka everyone's dropping their uh, reviews and thoughts in this movie today and it's been mostly positive i've seen a couple that were negative but mostly have been positive i love timothy chalamet i'm gonna go idk man because the trailers didn't sell me i have not seen paddington or paddington 2 and i believe that's the director who's directing this movie and the trailers never sold me. I wasn't really wowed by them. I was really kind of just like, I don't know about that, man. Just a little bit crazy, if you ask me. And I probably just IDK, man. Just right there. Just right there. I don't really know if we're going to have a least anticipated movie this month. Because I'm just so damn excited for all of them. A movie that's already come out. December 1st it came out. It's not going to be in theaters much longer. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to watch it before the end of the year. But I'm really hoping to make it to the theater. It's Godzilla Minus One, which everyone has said is, first off, the best Godzilla movie of all time, and second off, arguably the best movie of the year. I already have one of most anticipated, but damn it, we are going to cheat, and I'm putting this in the most anticipated tier, because this is one I probably won't get to, and I'm really kicking myself about it, because I enjoy the MonsterVerse movies somewhat. I Half the time, I'm like, this is kind of dumb, but... Godzilla 2014, I really dug. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong from back in the day, I really dug. Kong Skull Island, really enjoyed. King of the Monsters uh, and um, Godzilla vs. Kong, not a big fan. This is like its own thing. It's its own movie. It's a Japanese film, and I heard it only had a $15 million budget, and it just stuck the freaking landing, man. I'm excited, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to check it out in theaters, and I'm really sad about it. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. My wife, she doesn't like Godzilla, so she doesn't want to see this one with me, but I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to get her to go to theater with me. And finally, we have the color purple, which I'm excited for. So I can't put this in the least anticipated. So therefore, there's no least anticipated. I'm equally, or more, I'm, I'm excited for all these, okay? The color purple, I'm very excited for. I was in theater in high school, and people would always reenact scenes from this play. The People would always reenact the songs from this play. So gradually, I listened to the soundtrack. I fell in love with the story. I fell in love with this play. And I'm excited to check this movie out on the big freaking screen. Comes out in Christmas time. You don't know about the color purple absolutely great play turned now into a movie great cast the songs will give you freaking chills man so nonetheless i'm i'm very excited for the color purple my wife and i we're both excited we were both in theater together that's how we met and people would sing the songs from this i'd be like right there right there in the field a song called i'm here just listen to it i mean it'll give you chills that's gonna do it for my most anticipated movies for the month of november it is that good of a month we don't have one of my least anticipated tier let me know what you guys are most excited for down below in the comments section. What plan on watching, what plan on not watching. Let me know all that down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell for me. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for being here and for watching. You mean the absolute world to me. And I'll see you in the next one.